Yeah, so we've got three different machines here. We've bought the LDS3, which is our, our three meter low disturbance subsoiler, 50 uh, centimeter leg spacing, designed to work down to somewhere 14 inches if you wanted to work that deep, but principally shallow low disturbance yeah. cultivation, really. Um, then we've got the Mixi Disc X6, which is our six meter disc cultivator with uh, disc leveling board and press configuration, and then the DTS3, our three meter. Um, deep tine cedar. Well, the, the farm uh, that, that's invited has come out. They're looking at a slight change to their system. So they're looking at going in, doing minimal surface disturbance initially with the LDS type subsoiler. And then they're incorporating farmyard manure, uh, chicken manure. So they want to do um, a sort of top mix of, of soil and manure, but they also want a machine that can be dual purpose and do low a low amount low depth cultivation where they're going to move enough of the surface to enable the green chit to get the volunteers going get the black grass going um, and just start that cultivation process ahead of the next phase of the following cultivation pass or the drill and then with the dts obviously that gives them the option that if they want to work into that mixy disc um, cultivation system then the the dts can go in and work into that well can work into the lds surface well or can actually go straight into the ground in the right conditions and direct drill. Um, so we've brought the machines out. Um, the LDS had been into work before, so it was just a case of fitting that to the tractor, getting everything set up, agreeing what depth the customer wanted to work to, and actually just understanding what they're hoping to see the machine do, what they want to achieve from the work yeah. with the machine. So, so we're working that down to about eight, eight to 10 inches uh, as a variable. Um, conditions are, on the cusp of being about right. We had some rain last night, but actually when you look at what it's doing, um, the machine works, the, the configuration, you've got the leading disc, which is cutting the slot for the leg to work into. Um, and we're not getting any great amount of soil disturbance of anything. So when you dig down to the profile of the soil, um, you can see what the, the, the low disturbance point's doing. Where we've been with the LDS particularly, um, the rollers left a very good finish. The, the, the farmer was very impressed in how that uh, left things. Um, the DTS has gone exceptionally well. Um, yeah. Really pleased. And actually, yeah, if we were drilling today, that would have been some good drilling that we've done. Mixy disc has gone uh, as performed, uh, you know, as we expected. It's it's not really a disking day. So we've not used the leveling board a lot, but the roller, where you look, what what the mortar pack has done behind. Um, it's left a very good finish that you can yeah. actually go and work into. I mean, the way this wind's blowing, it's drying out all the time. You know, it's it's a heavy packer, but actually what it what it does when you see how it works, I mean, the mud packer wants to be sort of eight to 10 centimeters of friable soil anyway, yeah. um, to be able to do its job, which it's got today, but it's just a bit more plasticine -y than uh, than dusty. So very positive, I mean, interesting conversations uh, comparing what they've already got on the farm and other machines have looked at. Um, interesting to discuss what um, you know what they're wanting to achieve so from what they've seen from the machines every machine that we've bought would actually do the job that they wanted it to do yeah um, and interesting with the farm because they've got some varying soil types I mean we're on the Lincolnshire limestone up here um, they've got some very heavy blue clays as well but they could adapt the machines to do what they want to do on, on all aspects of the farm so, yeah uh, so yeah it's been a very very good and very positive day